Hi guys, this is the recording for example three. Find the tangents to the curve y equals x to the third plus one at the points where the slope is four. What is the smallest slope of the curve? And what values of x does this does the, does this this curve have this slope? Okay. So this is quite similar to one of the problems that we have already done. So find the tangents. That means I need a slope and I need a point. I already have a slope. So what I need now is I need a point. So I'm going to start with doing the y prime, which is the derivative of my function. So y prime is 3x squared plus 1 using our power rule. The slope is 4. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to set it equal to 4. My job right now is to find the point or points, okay, that this curve has a slope of 4. So let's see how many points we're going to come up with. So to solve for x, I'm now going to move 1 to both sides. So 3x squared equals, I meant 1 and I wrote 4, duh, okay. So 3x squared equals 3, divide both sides by 3 x squared equals 1. I will now take the square root. This is the part where some of you lost credit if you don't have what? Plus or minus. You have to have plus or minus because that tells me there are two locations from this curve that I'm going to have a slope of 4. So let's look for the points. 1x equal to 1. I'm now going to plug it back to here. That means y equals 1 to the third plus 1, which is 2. So that's point number 1, 1 comma 2. Then when x equals to negative 1, that means y equals negative 1 to the third plus negative 1, which is equal to negative 2. So I have a second point, and negative 1 comma negative 2. So my job right now is to find the tangents. Okay, Tangents are, you're going to have two of them y minus y1 equals m times x minus x1. m is my slope, so that gets 4, okay? My x1 is going to be 2. I'm going to use you this point first. My y1, I'm sorry, my x1 is not 2. My x1 is 1. My y1 is 2. So if I'm simplifying this equation, 4x, and then this is going to be a minus 4 plus my 2. So my first tangent is going to be 4x minus 2. So that's tangent number one, okay? So 4x minus 2. So that's one equation right now. Then my next one is going to be y minus minus 2. I'm using this one next equals to the slope is 4x minus minus 1. So y plus 2 equals 4x. This is going to become a positive. So 4x plus 4. Subtract 2 from both sides. So y equals 4x plus 2. So those are the two tangents, okay? Those are the two tangents of the function that both of them have a slope of 4. So that's the tangents. Now let's move on to the next question here. What is the smallest slope of the curve, okay? What is the smallest slope of the curve? Now let's try to understand that question. If you are seeking for the smallest slope. That means I need to know all the slopes, right? Well, what one equation that will give you all of the slopes? Would you agree that it's the derivative equation? Because that's the equation that will give me all of the slopes, okay? Well, how would I find the smallest slope? Well, the smallest slope means the smallest y prime value, okay? So let's use decimals and graph this out to see what I mean by that. Okay, so here's decimal. I punch in what? What is the equation again? Let's go back. Is it 3x squared plus 1? Okay, so let's type in 3. Delete, delete. Oh, no, I, that's not deleting. Okay. 3x squared minus, was that minus or plus? Plus 1. Plus 1. Okay, so, oops, not 11, plus 1. Okay. So here's the slope 
equation, which is y prime, okay? This is y prime. So I have right here, I'm going to get this point. So if I have a graph and calculator, I can find it easily. The slope, the smallest slope I can possibly have is 1, okay, at location x. Now let's go back to our notes and see if it can do it by hand. By graphing, we already know, okay? So smallest slope is, as you can see, find the vertex. So the vertex, I need to do x equals, right, negative b all over 2a. Well, I don't have a b value. A b value is where you do, oops, a b value is in the middle with 0x. So a b is really 0 over 2 times a is 3. So this is really 0, okay? So the vertex is at 0. Well, what would my slope be at location x equals to 0? Well, I just have to plug it in. y prime is 3 times 0 plus 1. So the smallest slope is 1, okay? So what I'm going to try to do is answer both of these right here, these questions in one sentence, okay? Smallest slope is 1. And then the second part is says at what x value? At x equals to 0. So that is my final answer. Both sentences. Uh, for both questions using one sentence. And this is the end of this example.